The first song we will be singing today is I Got the Sun in the Morning. In the morning. It is an old jazz standard from the classic hit, Annie Get Your Gun. The moral of the song is, even if you don't have a lot, you can still be happy with what you got. Our soloists are Bra Brady, Jasper, and Austin. <laughs>
next we will be singing Flying Into the Moon, um, which is really a uh, jazz standard, if you would. Um, but today we will be singing it in a Latin jazz uh, arrangement. saxophone and Julian Nevin on tenor saxophone and Jasper Kress on alto saxophone. So we hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
we're going to play a tune called Woodchopper's Ball, written by Woody Herman. This is one of his big hits. And this has Stephen Charbonneau on the drums. And this has Ariam sorry, on the euphonium. And also on F on the trumpet. So this is our one standard that we're doing. Thank you. 
which is funny because it's a Latin American inspired song. So interesting that a Sweden group performs it. Uh, the song is about seeing about chili that's too hot to eat and that we should embrace the, the fiery flavors that are in the chili. <laughs>
we often get complimented at NBCI. Oh, you have such great students, and that's true. And oh, there's these hardworking teachers, and yes, that's true. But really, I think what, what is often unsung and unappreciated, no, not unappreciated, but just maybe sometimes we don't notice, is the army of people behind the staff and the, the teachers. Uh, oh, first of all, Max over there, who, it's hard being a sound guy because no one notices you unless something goes wrong, right? Uh, and plus, in Jubilee Place, he's way at the top and nobody really looks that direction. But uh, Max is just absolutely wonderful. I and mean, he doesn't just do work for MBCI, but for rentals in Jubilee Place. But he really knows everything here and uh, a lot of the tech. The, the reason you're hearing this great sound from everybody is, is because of Max. And you don't notice him because he does his job so well. So, so let's thank Max once again. <laughs> And, uh, and of course everybody else that's supervising and helping and just all the support we get uh, Mrs. Bartley in the office and everybody else. Um, okay, so we, I think, are ready. Um, we are really looking forward to going to bring in, we have 66 students so going and uh, a number of parent chaperones and I guess we should really thank the parents and the grandparents and the family members in the room for uh, for everything that they are doing. Look at the plan. Give us a sec, all right. Um, the parents that are supporting the students and giving them encouragement and paying for music lessons and buying instruments and paying, paying for reads and uh, giving them lunches that they can eat in 10 seconds at lunch. Um, it, it all makes a difference and it all helps. And I hope that you can feel it after hearing all of the music this evening that it was worth it. And I know these students really, really appreciate all of that. Okay, we're going to play three tunes. The first one is called Spain. It's by Chick Corea. He actually based this on a guitar concerto by Joaquin Rodrigo, which uh, has a middle movement, the adagio, which has often been reimagined by different jazz artists like Miles Davis and so on. And Chicoria is probably the most famous one. And so this is Spain. And it's arranged by Paul Jennings for a larger band than Chicoria would have envisioned. And we have a number of soloists. We have Hannah Sedu, who's playing a prelude at the beginning of the piece, kind of like Chicoria would do, just off the fly. And uh, then we have uh, uh, Adeline Neufeld, I'm sorry, Adeline Neufeld playing the flugel horn. Um, which is kind of like a strange looking trumpet that sounds really awesome. And uh, later on you're going to hear Smith lead uh, playing the alto saxophone. So this is Sting. <laughs>
the group that uh, Birdland was written for, Weather Report, had four members. We have more than that, so we get to kind of spread around the fun a little bit. This is an arrangement by Larry Kirchner, but we tried to kind of make it sound more like the original wherever we could. And uh, so Birdland was written by uh, Joseph Zalanov, the, the, the keyboard player in Weather Report in the mid-70s, and this is uh, kind of an example of fusion. Probably their most well-known work, and it's been made even more famous by groups like uh, the Manhattan Transfer. So uh, this one has a number of different soloists. We have Sienna of Basra playing uh, a synth part, and when Birdland first came out, it wasn't kind of a normal thing to have a synthesizer because it you know, took a whole room for all the electronics, but uh, they had one. And so our keyboard is slightly less troublesome, but that uh, sounds great. Um, we also have um, baritone saxophone, uh, Ben Kopp, and we have uh, tenor saxophone, Micah Enns. Also later on in the piece, Julian Evan on tenor saxophone. And uh, am I forgetting anybody? Everybody has a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, Sinead gets to play things. Yeah. Yes, we would have had a guitar soloist, but uh, he's kind of ill this evening, so we're making up for it in other ways. But uh, Jeremiah would have been in there uh, playing a great solo as well. So here we go with Birdland. And once again, thank you so much for coming.
de volgend jaar, de tweede jaar. Thank you so much. Take care.